Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of the Daily Run and today we're playing as Lazarus. Usually daily runs or maybe runs in general do get a bit samey in Isaac and especially daily runs just because of how many strategies you need to employ in order to maybe break the game and try to get as many consumables as possible. Maybe certain items will take priority, you'll try not to get hit on the second floor always, try to get a devil deal, you get a few damage ups, you rarely see certain items just because they're maybe in the angel deal pool and you ne really never encounter them. But what seems to happen is when you get a rare item once, it seems to just show up over and over again over the course of the next few runs. So in this example, what we what happened is we got Epic Fetus in the first lore, and that's an item that usually we wouldn't pick it up. But obviously because this is the first item of the game, there's no reason not to do it, because Epic Fetus is such a strong item, it allows you to kill bosses very easily, it leaves you basically unlimited bombs, which means that you can find every secret and second secret room, you can blow up tinted drugs, uh, you can make bridges by blowing up rocks and basically like I said it just tons of damage and if you can get flight, flight with it usually Epic Fetus turns into one of the best items in the game. Without flight it's still decent but there are some enemies which are kinda hard to deal with and you'll you can end up getting hit a few too many times maybe just because of how, how this game works. Uh, so yeah, Epic Fetus with Lazarus, so th that's not something I expected to see and it's funny because we had Epic Fetus not too long ago as well so at least we got some practice into it with the last three dailies or so, um, but but the fact that it showed up so early is is a really surprising notion. Like I said, just because of how how it changes the way you play, Epic Fitness is really one of those items that affects you on a much deeper level because you have to dodge as soon as you enter the room, and because the rocket takes a few seconds to actually prime and and actually come down and shoot and explode. Uh, it requires a bit more dodging patience than maybe so certain I other items, like Brimstone for example, because w when you charge Brimstone in another room, you enter a room and you can unleash it immediately and the damage is basically instant. But with Epic Fetus, maybe you have to dodge a bit, maybe you have to position the cursor in such a way that you don't hit yourself or maybe that you maximize how many enemies you hit, and that requires some time and that is kind of annoying and maybe sometimes quite hard to deal with. Um, and that's what makes Epic Fetus maybe not as good as you would hope, even though it had a very good reputation in the original Binding of Isaac, I would still say it's good in this version, obviously. I still think it's one of the best items, but of course it does come with repercussions of you hitting yourself uh, a few too many times. Um, like I said before, getting flight with Epic Fetus I think is a very important aspect of this item and almost a necessity I would say if you want to go deeper into the floors, just because there are so many enemies which split into smaller enemies and if you only have one explosion then it's quite hard to deal with that because maybe you hit the fistula once or maybe twice and suddenly you're dealing with 12 enemies at once. And that's very hard to dodge and still you have to dodge, remember you have to dodge the enemies and you still have to dodge your own orbital or I mean your own rocket which has quite a sizable explosion radius so that that can be quite annoying so for that reason you need flight so you can kind of protect yourself and maybe you can fly over chasms or maybe holes or maybe rocks which is and that just gives you an extra defensive option that's so very needed whenever you're using this deadly item but at the same time having flight is not uh, beyond be all end all because Fischl I remember bringing out my previous example is still an enemy which splits up and can go to walls and you're not really safe even if you do have flight. Flight just helps you maybe with some smaller rooms that don't have as much dodging space and you still have to aim your rockets properly. Uh, having flight is just one aspect of it. You, you also need a, a source of passive damage so to say, so you need something that will be able to actually hit multiple times or something that will deal damage alongside you actually shooting with your rockets. So having Incubus or Succubus in this situation, which is a, just a passive familiar which flies around the room dealing damage to enemies, is a great proposition because it can kill the little enemies that we really don't want to deal with just because maybe you don't want to kill a spider with epic feeder shot when you can be focusing that on a bigger enemy. Uh, and Succubus is great for that because while it's still rather small in scope, it still has a very high chance of actually hitting and killing those enemies which are just annoying to deal with whenever you have an item like epic feeders. Uh, but besides that, uh, we also got D Diplopia, not Diplopia, but 2020, and 2020 works very well with Epic Fetus. It's, uh, it wasn't a synergy up until Afterbirth, but of course we are playing Afterbirth, so we need to take advantage of it. And along as with the Wiz, or the Dance Cap, or the Double Shot, or however you want to call it, but what it does is, it basically gives you another explosion, so instead of just sh shooting once, it actually shoots twice or four times, depending on how many shots you have, in succession, which means that that makes it actually a very good tool 
to use against enemies with split down. Of course, it's also useful against other enemies, which are just stationary, because you basically hit them with multiple times of rockets and for that reason your damage kind of multiplies in the sense that you're dealing AoE damage to more enemies and of course instead of just hitting them once uh, you're hitting them four times in very quick succession but at the same time this still makes it just a bit more deadly for you because if you try to hit the small enemies or maybe what you want to try to do whenever you have a combo like this that shoots four consecutive rockets You'll try to shoot one enemy at the one side of the room and then you'll try to shoot the other enemy at the other side of the room with your last rocket because you can still move the, the reticle while, while the rockets are actually shooting in succession. Uh, and that makes it quite dangerous because what, have, what has to happen for you to pull that off is the enemy has to be in a pad that doesn't intersect with your position because you'll, you will end up hitting yourself if it doesn't. And sometimes what can happen is this can also lead to a time loss because Instead of just waiting for one rocket to come down, now you have to wait for a rocket to come down and then three more rockets to come down. And that takes quite time if we're basically checking every single room, uh, every single room or wall trying to find a secret or second secret room. But but that's why you, you'll try not to do that, especially as you get more experience at the game, you're, you won't just check every single wall, but maybe we'll just check the ones that seem the most obvious and if they, they aren't there then maybe you'll, you'll start looking elsewhere. Uh, but, but Epic Vitals, like I said, is one of those items that I either really like or that I really don't like, depending on how the run went. And I've, thankfully this run actually did prove my point of how useful Epic Vitals can be in a lot of situations. I really wouldn't like this item if it didn't have the synergies it has with at least the items we picked up in today's daily. Um, but, but it did turn out well. We also had a decision to be made. We had the Book of Belial or the White Pony. and. Here, here you might debate and you say, okay, obviously Book of Belial is a better item, the White Pony is just trash. But I wouldn't say it is, especially with Epic Fetus, because Book of Belial, well, it does give you a passive Devil Deal benefit, and I think that's the main use of the item in this situation, because the damage up is just not that significant. Remember, we are shooting four times, which means that, sure, if having Book of Belial would mean that we're dealing essentially four times the amount of damage we do, just because we do have four shots. Um, we don't really need that extra damage. It was Sure, it would be useful against some bosses, maybe like Isaac, who have a lot more HP, or maybe against Harsh even, but, but in overall, on average case situation, it's just not that good, because we really don't need the damage. We're basically killing every enemy with those four shots, and if, it, if not, we can just prime another one, and definitely they're going to die in two shots, meaning eight shots, just because we have the Wiz and the 2020 item. Uh, so, so the better choice here is definitely the White Pony, because what it does, it gives us passively higher speed, and higher speed is something that I think you very much need whenever you're playing these dodging games. So whenever you have an item that requires you to dodge well, more than maybe be offensive, so something like Epic Fetus, which is just yet another great candidate, um, you, you would need the speed, because speed is such an important stand that, that you start to realize that the more you play the game. And of course, when you're new to the game and maybe you're not realized, or at least I didn't realize, that speed is an important set, I tried to basically stay away from the speed items, I remember I didn't even want to pick them up, just because I thought it made the dodging much harder, but that's just because I got hit on the regular, but like I said, the more you play the game, the more you start valuing speed as the stat that is actually the one of the most beneficial stats in the game that do doesn't inter directly interfer interfere with your DPS. Um, and, and White Pony also has an active effect which works very well with Epic Fetus, so whenever you use it, you da dash across the room, you, you basically become invincible and you spawn the Holy Lights of Death, and the Holy Lights of Death are obviously great for killing smaller enemies because they do target them and you can just kill multiple phases of them at once. But, but, but what's even better is you can actually use the invincibility, so what you do is you set the reticle on the enemy, you use the white pony, you basically dash across the room. While you're dashing, you're shooting your rockets, which you set up previously. And alongside that, you're shooting your holy beam shots, which means that you basically kill every enemy. And because you're invisible while you're traveling, you basically don't have anything to worry about. And with that said, we did finish the run in 230th place. And the main reason for that is that we basically didn't find a Yara rune. I think I missed one second secret room and that led me to not finding that Yara rune, which is a bit unfortunate because our score could have been about 10,000 points higher, so about 50,000, and that would have put us maybe in the top 10. But just because we didn't find that combo in the, this, today, this today's daily, which was obviously very powerful, the only thing that was missing was the Yara rune because we already found the blank card we would be able to break the game that way and just get a lot of consumables. Even so, I'm satisfied with this run. I'm really glad that you, you get a rare item like Epic Fetus, which is obviously very good in some situations, 
very bad in others and that we were actually able to make good use of it. I hope you enjoyed this guy and I hope to see you next time.